Mom, Matt Amps Quilts and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to show you how to make a yo-yo. I used that in my Mary's Garden Quilt on the um, daisy-type flowers. Um, I think it's a fun embellishment. I also did it on this cute little um, mini quilt that I made using the same flower. So I will show you two methods, one that uses the Clover Yo-Yo Maker and then one without. Thanks for watching my video. Remember, if you like it, to like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. In order to make a yo-yo, you're going to want a circle. My circle here is th a three inch diameter. And I'm going to stick this on the fabric that I'm going to want to make my yo-yo from. And I'm just going to pin this so I can cut it out. And I'm just going to cut my circle out. I'm going to unpin this. I'm going to take a needle and thread. Get me a knot in the end. I'm just going to fold this a quarter inch onto itself. And take a stitch up. And I'm going to continue around my circle, turning that a quarter inch and doing a running stitch all the way around the circle. It's going to look like this, and we're just going to pull that running stitch tight. Well, that closes that up. I'm going to kind of play with how it gathers around. Pull that tight so it closes in the center. And I just like to go down in the center there. And then I just tie it off. I'm just going to clip my thread, and there you have a yo-yo. Another way to make a yo-yo is with Clover's Yo-Yo Maker. I have two of them here. This one got eaten by my dog a little bit. He's a naughty puppy, but um, it still works, so I use it. But we're going to put our fabric in. Kind of center it around, snap it in place. And then we're going to take our needle and thread again. Tie a knot in the end of our thread. And we're just going to start, we have these little nubs here. And we'll go down in the hole and then you're going to come across you want to come across where these little loopy things are don't go across here it will be stuck in so you're going to go down into this next hole and up in the next one all the way around our clover tool then when you've gotten all the way around you can just pop that out and you're just going to pop your circle out of there. And then you're just going to pull your yo-yo tight. Just like we did before. There you have a little yo-yo. And once again, I just go down in the center. Once I get it looking the way that I want. And I'll just tie it off again. I'll put a link for the um, Clover yo-yo tools. In the description below if you'd like to get those and use that method but you can always use the first method also all right thanks for watching my video i'll see you next time bye